What is going on, Pokemon trainers? This is Trainer Connor, and I am here with another Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle video. If you end up liking this video, all you gotta do is like the video and subscribe. I appreciate the support. Now we have a new team today. I have a League Haxorus, a Belotic, a Gigalith, the Siggy Y here, and then Vicavolt and Greenicless to back it all up. My opponent has Tapu Koko, Arcanine, Linoon, Mimikyu, Salazzle, and Lycanroc in Midnight form. So, the main facts here, I, well, I should tell you this first. When I assembled this team together, I actually put the wrong items. Where I, I really should have used this particular item on a Pokemon, and it just didn't work out. It's a prime example of this battle is. It's a prime example that I really should have used like a Focus Sash on Haxorus or a, a Not Choice Scarf on Invicavolt because it does not work out at all when I tried it. So maybe in the next Wi-Fi battle that I post, it will be similar but not really. So is that not being similar? But anyway, yeah, I'll have new members that will have the appropriate items. But other than that, it's going to be alright. The team that I have is going to do just fine in this video. The main facts on my, on my opponent's side are going to be uh, Tapu Koko, Arcanine, I would believe so, because he has Intigamate to attack my physical attackers a little bit there. And then we see Mimikyu. Mimikyu can go for Sword Stance. I really don't want to deal with that because that has struck me several times. So here I begin with Dawn the Haxorus and my opponent Decides to start out with Tapu Coco, because why not, right? Now, this is where I really should have had the Focus Sash intact. I actually have a, lum a Lumberry in this battle. So, if I had a Focus Sash, I would survive with 1 HP, and I could use Earthquake. I probably wouldn't take out Tapu Coco from that range, but I could revenge kill with my other members if I wanted to. He gets, he gets a critical hit on the, the uh, Dazzling Gleam that he went for. I don't think that matters. Now here I go into Gigalith, who has the uh, Air Balloon, which pops right away because he went for U-Turn. He gets another critical hit. He's getting all the luck right now, it looks like. And he goes into Mimikyu. I go for Stone Edge here. I just wanted to attack the opposition because I was threatened here because he just immediately locked out my Haxorus. I need to get some momentum on my side of the field. But you know what? It's going to pay off here because I end up breaking Mimikyu's uh, Disguise ability. He goes for Sword Stance. That is, again, threatening. And I go for Stealth Arts, which will be beneficial later. I will definitely make sure that those stay on the battlefield because they're going to hit some members on my opponent's side. This is where things get really interesting because he goes for a plus two never-ending nightmare. And... I wasn't sure if I would survive this blow, but Gigalith very obviously lives with 16 HP to spare. I just go for a Stone Edge. Gigalith, you're doing great. He goes for Play Rough. I was thinking he might finish me off right there, but I get a little bit of the hats now because he gets two critical hits in a row, and then I end up making him miss a Play Rough based off the luck that I have here. I could have worked that better, but that is okay. Whatever I say is already said. But, you know. So he gets to bring back in Tapu Coco here. Unfortunately, but... I mean, at any point, I could have switched out, but Igolith, he's already low on HP, so why should I keep him? He already set up Stealth Rocks. He already took out Mimikyu. I think he's doing, he's doing a good job. So I go into Genevo here. Genevo is my Reniculus. And then I double back. I go into Vicavolt. Because I was fearing that he would go for U-Turn. And because I have a Choice Scarf on Vicavolt at the time, which I thought would be a great solution for a lot of Pokemon, this would be a great momentum swinger. Little did I not realize is that Solazzle who isn't scarfed or anything as well, he outspeeds me. So if you're going to try to use a choice scarf Vicavolt, don't do it. It's not going to be working out, as you see here, because Salazzle and other fast Pokemon will just easily swipe you. 
and you just <laughs> go for the attacking move, and you'll be like, what just happened here? That's what happened to me in this battle, so. Vic of Ult, I need to make sure you have a different item next time. So I go into Misty here, Misty is my Melodic, and I go for a Scald. In return, I get Poisoned. I believe that this particular Melodic, um, I oh mean, I can't remember on top of my head, I believe this one is with Competitive, so it does not have Marvel scale. Otherwise, I'd be okay with the Poison, I just have to be careful, because the Poison is going to rack up more damage every turn. Alright, so he goes with Thunderbolt. Again, I, I don't have a good answer for Tapu Koko. I do survive it, um, which is surprising. Again, I'm not sure if I have Marvel scale, but, you know, it, it, it really does not matter in the long run. I get poisoned to death here. Um, but what should we do about Tapu Koko? That's the main question. But, you know, his electricity surge wears off. I go into the Sigui Y. The Sigui Y is pretty good. I used him before. He has Sword Stance Life Orb. Unfortunately, he has Hidden Power Ice. Man, this Pokemon is just doing some major damage to my team. I should be prepared next time with the main threats of Tuffy Coco and Garchomp and other Pokemon. But I go for Spirit Shackle, gosh darn it, and we end up taking out Tuffy Coco. So that's him out of the way. Well, I feel like I really should have taken him out a lot sooner, but that is neither here nor there. Unfortunately, we have to face Arcanine with the Incidimate. I don't have any priority or anything really to hit Arcanine with, with the Sigui So unfortunately, the Sigui is going to go down. He does take recoil damage. That is something to consider. Unfortunately, this is my last Pokemon, as you see. Reaclis. I don't know why he went for Will o Wisp here. I believe Arcanine gets access to Crunch, right? That would be a much better move. Otherwise, going for Four Blitz. But granted, he could go down to the recoil and then I would take him out. Here he goes for Protect. Again, I'm not sure why, because I don't have. Like you see, I'm not taking any burn damage because Reaclis has the magic. the magic guard ability, if I can say it. But. Yeah, I have that ability, and it's going to make sure I don't get burned damage to the, uh, to the Reaclis there. So we take out Arcanine, no problem. Unfortunately, again, because there's so many gosh darn unfortunate events, he has Lycanroc, and I don't really have anything. I, I thought, I, I really thought that a Psyshock, that is choice specs, would take out Lycanroc, but that is not the case. I do come out really close. I wasn't sure what item he was holding, but we find out that he's going to be a Life Orb, Lycanroc. He goes for a plus two Stone Edge, and that is going to finish me off. And then we get the classic double down scenario, which are the best types of downs, even still in 2017. I lose the battle, but it was actually really close. It was actually a 1-0 victory for my opponent, when I really thought it would be a lot worse. But what can you say? I had fun, and I can always improve on the team that I have here. I believe I just have to make sure Vicavolt does not have a choice scarf. It could be worthwhile using in some other time, but in this battle, no, it just didn't work out. And then Lumberry Hasteris was a complete disaster with Tapu Koko there. And then, you know, Giggle with was okay in this battle. Um, a lot of did his part, or did her part, because it's a female Pokemon. And then the other Pokemon I have were pretty good as well. But my opponent played really well. That's the bottom line. So if you guys liked the video, or if you enjoyed the video, or also, if you enjoyed this battle, make sure you like the video. That was so hard to get out of my system. But yeah, like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Alright, have a great day, have a great week. Take care, Pokemon trainers.